Hello Leo, how are you my darlings for May 2019? This is for all Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. What have we got for Leo please? For May 2019, what's the overall energy for my Leos? Tell me about my Leos for May. Oh, we have two. Okay. We have got a new beginning to get rid of this Four of Cups. Okay, these two are cut. Everybody else have one card. You've got two, but that's okay. Right, so Ace of Wands. A new beginning with the hands of God. It's fated. It's destined. It's time. The time is now. Now, this is related to career, but anything that makes you feel passionate, powerful, empowered, on fire, enthusiastic, happy. Okay, so this new beginning wants to... Get rid of this Four of Cups, which is a card of meh. You know that meh. The kids do it far better than me, but that meh can't be bothered. What's the point? I thought this was going to make me happy, and it hasn't. I'm disillusioned. I'm disappointed. I'm fed up. So the thing is with being in that space, it's actually quite positive and quite helpful because how can we make any changes unless we know we want to make the changes? Okay, so we need to know that we are me so that we can go well that's not working for me what am i going to do about it what am i going to change and we're wanting change aces are new beginnings so you want something new what is it that you want new this can be whatever is making you me could be a relationship your home your job life in general what's going on my leos that you're feeling me so let's get some more detail then What's going on for my Leos, please? Why are they feeling me? Okay. So we are in manifesting. We are in creating. We need to recognise what's making me feel me so that I can go, right, it's the job. I want a new job. Or it's my relationship. It's stale. Okay, do I want to end it? Do I want to put some fire back into it? We don't always have to throw out the baby with the bathwater, you know. If your relationship isn't stimulating and exciting, you know, all relationships go through ups and downs. And what we can do is put the fire back into it, the passion back into it by manifesting, by creating. Okay, the magician, love the magician. You know me if you've been following me a while. My favourite card in the deck because this is the alchemy. I can create water out of wine. I can move mountains. I can make things shift and change. I can come away from what's been making me miserable and I can fly high and I can go far and it will be a success. So there, there you have the story, okay? You are the magician. You take control. You decide what needs to bring that fire, that passion, that motivation, motivation, that enthusiasm back into whichever area of your life it is that has lost that fire. You are creating it so that you can then come away from where it was meh and you can make it fly make it fly whether it's your career your business your relationships make it fly by you putting the work in to create and manifest you will be successful the six of wands is a card of success of recognition of riding high of achievement now both of these cards can talk about career going far in your career being promoted doing really well being successful but this can also play out with improving a relationship it may be you're focusing on my partner doesn't appreciate me so what i want to do is bring appreciation into the relationship and because everything starts with you turn it back on you are you appreciating them are you valuing them do you show it do you demonstrate it as you show it and demonstrate it they will do it back because everything is a mirror okay then you can come away from the meh does that make sense yes of course it does now let's see what else you want to tell me a little bit more, more please about the magician tell me a little bit more about our manifesting let's have some more information okay so they want you to step into your king of wands energy now king of wands he's a king he's powerful 
He is in charge. He is in control for you to manifest. You can't do it from a place of mm, weakness, vulnerability, maybes, ifs and buts. You have to do it from a place of power, from your gut, from your solar plexus. And then what happens, that power within your solar plexus, that power and confidence and self-belief comes up into your heart where the love floods into it and then everything you're doing you're creating passion and fire from the heart and you're doing it with this very powerful passionate belief i am creator i am okay got it good 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 all right tell me more about the seven of swords please Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. We're coming away from something that wasn't working. What else do we need to know about the Seven of Swords? Okay, we've got two here. So we have got another king. All right, sorry about my voice being a bit croaky. I've been doing readings so many now for so long um, <clears throat> that the voice is going a little bit, but bear with me. Okay, so Page of Wands, he brings in an offer, an opportunity that will bear fruit because all the trees are laden down there with those beautiful oranges, which I just want to pick off the trees and eat because they look yummy. So he's coming in the page, bringing in help for the king, to be able to come away from what wasn't working. And the King of Cups comes in with him as well. So the King of Cups, tradition, stability, security, compassion, open heart, warmth, family orientated, okay? This is Saturn behind him. Saturn is the planet of being the grown up and responsible and looking at the long term outcome, the long term future. Very traditional family man, but very, very compassionate and warm and kind. This is what they're wanting to bring in in order to come away from that. OK, to be able to manifest from the heart with fire, with passion, bringing in information because pages are always about information. So you need to be thinking, what is it that I want to turn around? Yes, we very much focus on what doesn't work. Once we know what doesn't work, then we flip it upside down. So how will it work? What do I need to bring into it? If I'm not feeling appreciated, I need to bring appreciation. If I'm feeling taken for granted, I need to bring in feeling valued. Whatever it is, once you've acknowledged what this bit is, then you can manifest the opposite to bring it back into a good place where it's going to fly. Now I want one more and then we'll add in the Lenormand cards for a little bit more detail. Tell me a little bit more about this Eight of Wands and Six of Wands. Okay, Two of Cups. Sorry about that my Leos. The video just decided to stop so I've had to restart it. So we were talking here about the Two of Cups. This is a card of connection, of love. For those of you that this message is all about a relationship that's gone a bit stale, this is confirming, especially under these two, which is success and it going far, that that spark, that connection is back, is coming back because of that work that you have done. Now, for those of you, this has got nothing to do with love and it's perhaps to do with work, then you are getting that connection back with maybe your colleagues or your boss or the work itself. You know, sometimes we can get really fed up with the work that we're doing because we're doing it too much and there isn't enough balance yeah so this work that you're doing could be to bring back that balance and help you to fall back in love with your job with your work with your business now the other thing this can be is connecting back your own sparkle your own passion your own oomph your own <laughs> little bit of yeah, your mojo's back, your sparkle is back, you're feeling connected back with yourself and it's feeling awesome. Now, the other two cards that I did pull when the video switched off, so I'm going to stay with them because they were the ones that wanted to come. 
is the dog and the woman. Now the dog, I love this card, bless his little face, look at him, with his big brown doleful eyes, holding his lead, saying, please give me some attention, please take me for a walk, please play with my ball, give me attention, I love you. <laughs> this, is, this is what that energy of the dog is all about. It's loyalty, it's love, it's connection, it's attention. So for many of you, this is about a relationship where you have felt perhaps no time, no attention, no care. And by doing these things here, this work, this creating the passion back, then we're starting to bring the attention back and the loyalty sits back into place. So it may be that you're not leaving a relationship, not leaving the job, not leaving the career, but you are bringing back the sparkle to something that you already have. And what this does is it brings you back to a place within yourself where you're back at peace. She's so peaceful. She's so serene. She's so in the moment and it's just lovely. And for those of you that this is about a relationship, this can be a new relationship for those of you who are single because the woman um, represents a new woman coming into a man's life. For many of you, love, new love. This can also be the advice of a woman, love from a woman, maybe your mum, your sister, if you're a female, bringing in love to help you with this situation. It's moving through to a victorious conclusion, which is bringing back the connection and the sparkle that you want, need and deserve. And don't we all love a little bit of sparkle? Sparkle. Right, what the angels want to add, please, for my lovely Leos. Transformation. Well, you can't make this stuff up, can you? We started with meh and we've ended up with sparkle. We need to transform from where we were to where we want to be. Rising up and away from where we felt trapped. Can you see her there? She's, it's like she's in a net, a fishing net, where she's all trapped up and stuck. But she's rising up and out of it. The butterflies signify transformation. All the beautiful colours. This month for you, my darlings, you are coming into a place where your relationships your work whatever however this resonates for you is transforming into back into passion and motivation and zing and sparkle fabulous all right my darlings i hope that helps give you some inspiration motivation and um so yeah um i hope it helps now then um if it doesn't and you need more specific to you, please hit me up for a reading. They're on offer at the moment, the lives and the videos. So do let me know if you want one of those. And I will see you for the weeklies. Uh, I know not all of you watch the weeklies because um, my weekly figures are much lower than my monthly. So it'd be lovely if you watch the weeklies. But if not, not to worry. I will see you in June for the next monthlies. You take care, my Leos. Lots of love. Bye bye.